Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Everspace. I've actually previously looked at this in a live stream, and unfortunately, due to a glitch, the frame rate looked terrible. So now you're going to see this thing in all its true high frame rate visual awesomeness glory. So, yeah, this is a kind of roguelike spaceship fighter type game. Oh, look, I got an achievement in a previous run. Uh, as you fly through the game, you get upgrades and then you uh, go from one level to the next and eventually you hopefully end up with an awesome spacecraft and perhaps there's some story thing at the end or perhaps it's not in there yet because this is an alpha build. Okay, so you get basically dropped into the level and I'm just going to go start killing these things here. So I'm actually going to target this drone first with my missiles, take it out of the equation and then soften up the outlaw scout with my guns, yes. So flight model is full six degree of freedom, you know, the usual stuff. It is very, very fast, very, very lightweight. I'm flying this with the mouse, by the way. There is a gamepad option, but I found it practically uncontrollable. And since you couldn't change the configuration, I had all sorts of problems with the uh, with the yaw and the pitch being on the wrong stick for how I like it. But I'm sure that will be fixed at some point because this is an alpha. It'd be nice to have like a joystick fly to fly this. Because it is rather beautifully immersive and it works in VR. Now the developers are guys called Rockfish Games and they are the same people that do the um, Galaxy on Fire titles which are pretty good if you've got a mobile device, but they're, you know, they're not going to set the world on fire otherwise, or the galaxy on fire. No, they're they're great little mobile, you know, fighter type games. I think they've, you know, millions and millions of people have installed these. I'm not sure how many of them have only installed the free version. After all, mobile games do have that problem sometimes. Okay, so I think I've cleared everything up. What's that? That's Terran Fighter. Let's run the scan to see if we find anything cool. There, we have some containers. So in each zone, you have a limited amount of time before the interceptors chasing you come up. Whoa, those are mines. Want to be careful. This is a minefield here. I'm going to try and sneak up to this container and hopefully not... Oh, ow, ow. There's the container. Why is my weapons... I'm switched to my pulse laser. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. And we get something in that. Fuel! Quick! Oh! Okay, let's get out of here. We've got one container, there's another container in there, but I think, yeah, these are mines that are all around. I gotta be a little more gentle. A little careful here. Okay. No, it's definitely very, very fast and arcadey. You know, you're not. It's not like a Elite Dangerous where you're very carefully lining up each thing that you find because you want to pick it up. No, this one you're just flying over it as quickly as possible. And then, of course, I'm going to try and get to the next zone right now because uh, I suspect that there are bad guys pursuing me, and they will come up. If you spend too long, it'll warn you that interceptors are about to arrive. Now you go to this next interstage section and you can pick which way you want to travel. I guess I'll go that way for no reason than why not. Some places have service stations, others have traders, things like that, which maybe may offer scope for, uh, you know, expanding your money making capabilities. Okay, alien fighters are over there. We have some fuel sitting here. Good to know because we're going to need that fuel. And uh, I'm guessing, what's this over here? That is a Terran fighter. Maybe if I fly over close to the Terran fighter, he will help me out when the bad guys start coming. There. Oh, there he goes. I'm going to shoot a missile into that thing because uh, you might as well kill that as quickly as possible. Oh, 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 oh. I think I need to drop a missile on that thing, but to... Uh, oh, because my power is low. Come on! No, 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 no. Okay, that's down. Ow! That really hurt there. Now, this does have VR support, by the way, out of the box. In fact, you turn it on, and it starts up the VR system, and 
can be kind of annoying actually because then it, you have to then shut it down manually afterwards. But that's, you know, early alpha glitches. I not you doing this with VR because it's kind of lousy VR support. It's a proof of concept at best. The heads up display don't work very well. Okay, we've got that. Uh, we've got some more fuel here. Let's fly along. Okay, we've got as much fuel as we need. Oh, that's more fuel, no point getting that. Okay, uh... Fuel and fuel, and... That's tractor beam! Oh, let's go and take a look at this tractor beam. And it tells me that I have no free device slot at this point. So what I can do is fly up to this and say, well... Can I replace it? So I press the item menu. And I have a shield. Or... I could get a tractor beam, which increases my thing. I think I'm going to keep my shield, so I'm going to dismantle the tractor beam, and that will give me stuff, which I can potentially use for crafting other things. Oh, there's an asteroid here! Yes, there's a lot of exploration. If you don't use your scan probes, you can find things just by flying towards them. The asteroid mining does look rather pretty, if you ask me. Asteroid is fully mined. Okay, now I need to just grab everything. Okay, now was there another one in the area that I saw? Ah, uh, what's that? That's a Terran fighter. Okay, I don't see anything else. I could fire my little uh, scan probe. See if anything else interesting turns up. Well, looks like there's some loot here. Some loot crates in this. Tech containers hidden inside this asteroid. What secrets are hidden in this universe? in this ever space. I have an item that can be crafted. Good to know. So the boost is obviously using my energy. Got to be a little careful that I keep enough of that around. How do I get in and find where these things are? That looks like a hole. That looks like a way in. That does not look like the gut of a giant space worm. There we go. Let's grab the credits. Whoa, that's me get 1700. Okay. What else? Nothing out this way. That is fuel, and there's some tech containers over there. Let's get over and grab those. I'm just wondering how long I have before the interceptors show up. I wonder if there's a timer somewhere that I'm not actually seeing going to burn over this way regardless as quickly as possible. Yeah, so this was a Kickstarter which didn't actually, oh wow, it didn't actually succeed. What's this one? This is a cloak, but that will replace my shield. I'm going to dismantle this as well. Dismantle. I'm sure I can do something with that loot. Where is it? There it is. There are tech containers. Nice that those shoot. Oh. Okay, so we've got explosive missiles, which are nice to have. Gatling. Let's take a look at this. Gatling plus. Uh, look, energy consumption is lower. That seems to be better. Let's uh, swap that. Excellent. And now I'm going to dismantle my old one. Yes, dismantle it. Give me the ore and loot and things like that. Missiles. What's this? Explosive missile. Versus time 10. Oh, I guess I'm totally full up. Oh, wait a second. In space, Gatling 1, pa Gatling plus, plus pulse laser, uh, F. No, no, I want to do... I want to keep the Gatling plus, don't I? But this is the one I wanted. It says, that's a pulse laser. Okay. So, pardon me, I got a little confused there. I'm going to dismantle that. And then I'm going to get these explosive missiles, uh, which is apparently as full as it gets. Hey, could you just dismantle that? Yes, dismantle that too. Okay. Okay, let's uh, head on to the next sector as quickly as possible before we outstay our welcome. The w the levels are currently generated, you know, roguelike. I'm not sure if that's what the final game is going to be, but that's what we've got right now. It is an alpha getting in to the alpha, you pretty much have to go through their website, it gives you a steam key, okay, oh, okay, do that one, 
And that one. Yes, shoot these things out of the sky, and now there's only this one to deal with. Come on. Oh, ow, alien fighters with their l alien lasers doing their alien damage to my white human hull. We are the finest creation of the Darren race or something like that. I don't actually know if there's any background. I just know that I'm in a spaceship and I'm blowing things up all the time. And I'm quite good at it. Okay, so what have we got? Nanobots. Nanobots are useful because they can repair your ship in flight. Let's go and pick that up. Yes. And fuel. We need that to get from one sector to another. Yeah, if you go in... Uh, you, oh, actually, my primary weapon did get messed up. I could build a new weapon to go into this space, such as a shock rifle, which needs these things. So there is crafting inside the game. Build new. I have the skills for a scanning probe. Yes, let's build a scanning probe, because that's a useful thing. I can repair my ship. So we've got things that are damaged. Let's repair it using the nanobots on board. Brilliant! And now we can go back to shooting things. Oh, who's that? That's a Terran fighter. Let's use that scanning probe to see if we can find any new loot. Nope. Uh, that does not appear to have worked very well, has it? What's that? That's a Terran mining drone. Uh -huh. Oh, look, there's a whole uh, freighter. Which you can actually pirate Terran freighters if you want to do that, if you think that's where the money is. I'm not going to do that at this time. We have a mining cargo laser turret. Oh, we have a whole place of things that we can look at. There's some ore floating around. Let's grab that. Why? Because I can. Picked up some ore. I don't see anything else in this space around here. Oh, there, now we found some stuff. There we go. Let's check the tech containers for the loots that they have on offer. And by loots, I mean the improperly pluralized version of loot rather than the pluralized version of the, you know, the thingy. Oh, yes. Apparently Gatling. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> I forgot that you gotta hold that thing down. Uh, hey, could you uh, dismantle that? Yes, dismantle all of that for me. I'll put this one. What's in that? There we go. More explosive missiles and another item to dismantle. I will have more room for these things. I uh, dismantle it. Yes, I, you get more room for these things as, of, as you upgrade your spacecraft. I'm just going to run in and grab this. No free weapon slots. Yes, I know. I know. F. Dismantle it. Give me the loot. Maybe I should be moving faster from one place to another. It seems that I'm not being... I'm not taking enough risks at this time. But we are just kind of looking at the beautiful environment around here. There's a lot of work that's been put into these graphics. I have to say, they've done some great stuff with the engine. Picked up a scanning probe. That's good. And there's some more credits. There's something on the outside of this. He there. Right down there. 0.5 kilometers away. Hidden on the inside of this thing. There we go. Power cells. And there's a mineable asteroid. When will these people show up? I don't know. But I'm gonna get my stuff mined up as quickly as possible. Asteroid is fully mined. Oh, and we have red things. We have red things. Where are they there? Outlaw drones. Go straight at it. Focus on that drone more than... Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I guess that figure that tells me how much range I have with these weapon systems. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, excellent! You exploded and I get my credits. 
what else? Fuel, we don't need fuel. Okay, let's let's just move on to the next sector unless well this thing tech container is really close by. But it's floating in space as well. I picked up a nano kit! That's fantastic. Let's go to the next sector. Leave these suckers behind and look for more adventures in the future. Elsewhere in this universe. There is fun to be had. There are traders as well. And we've got 3,211 credits. That's a good start. Okay, so... Let me just see here. Oh, wait. The hostiles. Let's deal with the hostiles as quickly as I can. They were there a second ago. I saw a red... Oh, there. Oh, these are just drones. Missiles just tear these things down really, really fast because they have no shields. Okay. Terran fighters. We have a freighter. That's not the trader. Where would the trader be? Tells me that there's a trader in this. Oh! There's a, some loot there. Nice. Get some gel. Oh, who's attacking me? Everyone's attacking me because apparently I've shot the good guys. Not good. Not good. Ow, 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 ow. Gonna even the fight up quickly because these things are... I'm just dropping missiles on them as fast as I can spam them. Oh wow, I seem to have annoyed the wrong people there. Okay, missile base. Oh no 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 Oh dear And I get blown out of the sky Because I was a little um a little liberal with my gunplay there. Well I get sixteen kills, which is a new record. I scored more credits. And you get an idea of how this game works. And of course, now that I have credits, I can buy perks, I can buy new things, I can improve my energy consumption, I can get better loot, I can get better defenses, I'm going to upgrade all sorts of things. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to throw money at things. Sensor range, upgrade that. Jump drive, decreases the fuel cost. I don't think I'm having trouble with fuel, but... Let's improve the nanobot and devices and consumables. Yes, I don't have enough room for devices and consumables. Uh, maximum speed. Oh, darn, I can't afford that. I have 511. What can I buy? For 400, I could get that. For this one, I can improve my hit point repair rate. I want to carry more guns, to be honest. More guns would be very nice. Uh... I don't see anything. Let's just take a device. Another device. Yes! We have more devices. So yes! The game is ever space. It is still very much in development and I hear the team just got some money to do some more stuff on it. You can back it if you go to their website rockfishgames.com and uh, it's gonna be... On, well, it, the key you'll get will run on Steam for those of you that care. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. Thank <laughs> you.